Hi, my name is Steve. Thank you for visiting today. This is my video series where I give you expert advice on all things Xfinity. Today we are talking about modem power levels and event logs. Let's get to it. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at standalone modems. I will get to gateways in just a minute. Uh, this is my uh, actual uh, status page for my modem. I have an ARIS SB6183. Uh, the way you get to this page is by typing 192.168.100.1 into your browser. Don't worry, I'll leave you a link. Uh, it doesn't matter what browser it is or what operating system, you will be able to pull up your status page. Now once we're here, we are interested in downstream bonded channels. Uh, I have a 16 channel modem, so you can see that all 16 of my channels are locked up. The power levels are expressed in decibel millivolts. The signal to noise ratio is right here. And the correctables and uncorrectables are here. Uh, correctables and uncorrectables have to do with error correction. And as long as you have no uncorrectables, you don't have too much to worry about. Down here we have the upstream bonded channels. Uh, some Comcast systems only have three upstream channels. You can see that I have four and they're all locked up and these are my power levels uh, upstream as well. Um, so while you're here looking at your signal levels, you're also going to want to take a look at your event log. Um, this is my actual event log. You can see it's not very exciting. If you are actually having uh, internet problems, you will probably see pages of errors. Um, if you see just a few errors now and then, even if they say they're critical, it's normal and it's not a big deal. But if you see a whole bunch in a short time, then it is an issue. Um, and this is the kind of stuff that uh, the, the specifics can give us an idea uh, what's going on and it's helpful in diagnostics. All right, on to gateways. And how to check your signal levels there. This is specific to the Xfinity supplied gateways. Uh, we're gonna be accessing the gateway admin tool. Uh, this will probably just look a little bit different. So uh, you're going to point your browser to 10.0.0.1. And again, I will leave the uh, leave a link for you in the description. So since this is your first time logging into your gateway, you're going to come up to the login page. And it's going to prompt you for a username and a password. Uh, you will use the default username and password, which is admin for the username. And the password is password. Uh, after you do that, it's going to prompt you to set up your own uh, personal password, which is fine because it's uh, probably better for your security anyhow. All right, after you log in, you'll come to the Gateway at a Glance page, and you're going to go under Connection, and then Xfinity Network. By the way, while you're in here, you can do lots of other things like uh, change your, uh, configure your Wi-Fi network or uh, port forward and all kinds of good stuff, parental uh, parental controls and all that's all in here too. Um, after you log in, you're going to see this and it's very similar to what you saw with the modems. We have uh, the bonded channels here, we have uh, power levels, the SNR. Uh, one thing to note, this is a screenshot but your modem probably has a side scroll bar here. So uh, some of these modems have 24 or 32 channels, so you have to scroll sideways to uh, see all the channels. If you're posting uh, these images to uh, like the uh, Xfinity forums or Reddit, uh, you'll want to take a picture of all your signal levels because uh, we have to take into account um, what's going on with your uh, power levels as a whole. Um, underneath we just have the upstream, that's the same thing, we got four lock channels, we got the power levels. And then underneath, you have the uh, code words again. So um, while we are looking at code words here, we have unerred code words. So you see all these and you think, Ew, there's so many of them. But uh, this this really isn't important as a diagnostic tool. Uh, when you look at unerred code words, this is actually all of the errors for everybody on your segment. So the uh, correctable code words, these are ones that are addressed, addressed to your specific modem. and uncorrectable are the ones that they uh, were unable to correct. So unless your uncorrectables are in the tens of thousands, it generally isn't a cause for concern. All right, so next you're going to want to find your troubleshooting logs, and that is just under troubleshooting and logs, strangely enough. And the same thing as we talked about with modems, uh, if you have uh, you know synch synchronization failures or T3 or T4 timeouts or whatever. Uh, that'll be logged here and it'll help us diagnose what's going on with your internet. So there you have it. If you need any more information on power levels, 
Please visit the Xfinity Troubleshooting Guide on the community forums, or you can visit the Troubleshooting Wiki on Reddit. I will leave links in the description. As always, I appreciate you visiting. If you could like and subscribe, you'd be doing me a huge favor. So I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.